day two. But we checked into our Airbnb. Uh, we got here kind of late. Our flight was delayed. However, this place is so cute. Please ignore the mess because we're gross. But this is the entrance. Look how nice this is. What is this? I love it. In all the green. Oh, great. Yes, yeah, so this is Croatia. Uh, we're 15 minutes away from like the center of town. That's where we went last night. We just kind of chilled last night. Um, the restroom's in there, but deer is pooping, so I'm not gonna show y'all that. We went to the center of town like normal, and we got some food. Um, the food was pretty good. We went to like this burger spot. Did not go to McDonald's, even though we saw it on the way. So y'all should be proud of me, cause. I'm being better. That's all we got. We don't really have that much planned today. So it is what it is. But yeah, uh, I'll bring y'all around, show y'all what I see. <laughs> Day one, what do you want to tell your people? Mm. You were asked that before she takes her time. I already told them. You did? Hmm? What? We are not pooping. Deary says he doesn't want me to tell people he's pooping. So. The camera pans away from. <laughs> But it looks important, so I'm gonna film it. What is this? You know what this looks like? When they made us do a art project with clay, this is what mine looks like in the, at the end. And they said it wasn't art. Uh, obviously, it is. <laughs> best preserved amphitheaters around and it is the sixth largest one in the world how do you like it yeah, it's a sight to see seeing how big it is seeing how it's still up and it has a phone definitely a sight to see yeah i guess they use it they still use it today for like shows. concerts and shows and stuff so that's pretty cool so if Rome is a little too expensive, come to Pula, Croatia. Yeah, it's very green and beautiful, of course, but there is like nobody here, which is crazy to me. It's only, what, $7 you said? $7.54 to be exact. What? In the middle. Sweat, sweat dripping. It's my gladiator music. Oh, look at the lizard. This is a family winery, and we're here. 75 km is roughly $11. So $11 per person for five wines, uh, wine tasting with cheese and bread. And then we also have like 
another menu where you can like actually eat. And then they have where you can just buy it from the glass. So you Okay, this is the rock party going on, so it's a little loud. But this is the one and only chairs. Big chairs in every glass of wine. I hate doing chairs. Preka marmalade. Best guy. Three different cheeses. Cow cheeses. Some olives. Nope, that's the face of its code. And I am coming back out. <laughs> Let me turn around real quick and come back. It's too cold for me. But yeah, we're going to the Hawaii beach. Supposedly, like, this is, like, one of the best beaches around in Pula. And they have, like, resorts over here. And it's really pretty. So we'll see how it is. like wait am I trying to be sexy like what am I doing why am I crawling out of this ocean and then as this went on for about 10 minutes I realized I couldn't stand up <laughs> this is actually really embarrassing <laughs> This is us traversing around the Hawaii beach area. Um, we saw some people kind of like just spread out on the rocks, so we wanted to do it. I was really happy that I didn't die when I slid down this rock, so that's why I did the little eyebrow raise. But we kind of just like walked around, explored a little, and we came across this little area. I thought it was really pretty. We took some pictures. Um, if you want to see how they turned out, follow my Instagram. I'll have it linked in the description box below. But all of these caves and everything around here was so freaking dope. So definitely if you're going to the Hawaii beach, uh, don't just go to the beach. Explore a little bit around the wooded area to the right. And you can come across some really pretty things. So yeah. All right. So we're going to go get some food. Uh, we just got back from the beach, took a shower, and yeah. Walking to our dinner restaurant right next to the coast beautiful sky check out this boat no that's not even a boat that's a boat <laughs> a boat <laughs> oh did you want to get cash thing is huge okay first sorry for the year's lame dad joke but anyways uh i don't know if y'all heard but i definitely said do y'all want to stop do you want to stop me get some cash Deary, of course, conveniently ignored me. And guess what place only took cash? But yeah, we came across this little place. Um, this is the center of Pula. And they were doing like this weird light show. But it was really cool. So here it is. And also we recorded it on Deary's phone because I didn't want to bring my camera out. So sorry about that. was good it's just i don't think was worth the price so i really don't suggest it all right let's check out our food we got a seafood platter and then sarah got a sea bass miss sarah what's the base for she got like fresh fish she don't know what to do with it good 
Okay, day three, and about to head to go on this island hopping trip. It was 150 euro, I think. Mm -hmm. Whoa. per person so 20 euro and we go to like all these different places he says like we take pictures like 20 euro and 23 dollars okay a little bit about the boat tour so it was kind of like a little tourist trap which i fell for but it was nice um they give you free drinks so free wine and beer and they gave you lunch but I really didn't understand what we were supposed to be doing. There wasn't a lot of explanation going on. Like, this is a dinosaur park. I thought there was going to be actual dinosaurs. This is what we got. But it was really cool to see some of the islands and be on a boat. So, I don't know if it's worth it or not. But we did it. And we had fun. So, yeah. attraction that we are all looking forward to this is supposedly the private island that they owned um they said it was going to be sand and there was so that was nice but it, none of these restaurants there's all these restaurants behind us Sorry, none of them were open and then afterwards uh we landed back in the mainland and then we wanted to go get some food so we looked up this place called salt and pepper and it was really good i suggest it it was cheap it was nice and the decor was on point <music> So this was actually our last day there. Uh, my microphone had been messing up, so I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just talking. I think I was really just excited about my makeup. But this is the day that we went around and we actually explored a lot of Pula. And you'll see random clips. Um, we filmed it on Deary's phone again because it had started raining and I didn't want to get my camera wet. So yeah, you'll see us just wandering around the town. Sorry if it's a little out there, but definitely if you're in Pula, just wander. Um, a lot of the attractions are really close to each other and these placards right here kind of give you um, a little information and a brief history on everything that you're looking at. So that was really pretty. And then we came across this fortress. We climbed up to the top and you could see all of Pula, which was so dope. Suggest it. It was only four euro to get in and they also had a museum attached to it and you could see literally everything. So it was really nice and gorgeous. Yeah. 